Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of labor and income. This is standard 3.9a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 4 off the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So, Trey is describing his labor and his income. So which statement could be a description of both of those for Trey? That's going to be important for us. So, what is labor? What is income? All right, so these two are going to be connected here. And usually, this one leads to this one, okay? So labor is work you do. It could be work anyone does, but really we're talking about Trey here, so let's talk about him. This is work that he does, work that labor does. Uh, and then when you do labor, you do work, money you earn. All right? So people, when you get a job, people aren't just going to give you money for free. you got to do something to earn it. So you have to do some labor, you have to do some work, and then you get some money. So it could be a chore around the house, right? You could take out the trash and you earn a dollar. Uh, you could mow your grandma's lawn and she gives you $20. The, that's all in that same area of labor and income. You do a little work, you get a little money. All right, so we need to find labor and income and you know what we've got let's do this let's just make a little table it's going to be a little bit crooked but we're going to be fine because we need to find labor and income for trey here okay so trey does volunteer work at a hospital okay so He's doing work. He's volunteering at hospital. Maybe he's uh, visiting sick patients. Maybe he's helping clean something. So that's definitely labor because he's doing some work. But here's the key. Look at this volunteer. Volunteer means you're not doing it for money. You get zero pay. You're just doing it for volunteer hours. You're doing it because you're nice. You're doing it because you got nothing better to do, so there is no income. So Trey pays a company to repair his roof. Hmm. Now, here's the thing. He's the company is going to repair his roof, so the company is doing labor, but not Trey. The company is doing labor and the company is earning an income right because he's paying them he's paying them to fix his roof but i don't i don't think i really like this one because look at the question which statement could be a description of both labor and income for trey so that really doesn't describe trey unless he's working for the company but then why would he pay himself so this is a good example of labor and income, but not for Trey. Let's check H. Trey takes $25 out of his bank account and spends the money at the store. Okay, well, he's not doing any labor um, because he's not working anything, right? He's taking money out of the bank, so there's no labor involved. And he's not earning any money. He's actually spending money. He's taking money, assuming he's already earned, and spending it. So there's no labor, there's no income there. Let's hope it's J. J, a tray takes dogs for a walk. Okay, so there's some labor. He's doing some work. He's taking dogs for a walk. That is a job. After school and earns, ooh, look at that. He's got some income, earns some money. So that's a much better answer than G. So Trey is doing the work. He's walking the dogs. Trey is getting the 25 bucks for that work which means our answer is going to be J.